Imagine that you are creating a fabric of human destiny. Do not go gentle into that good night. We must never forsake that vision, that human dream, that unshakable faith. You may have the courage to look up. Wherever I am, there's always Pooh, there's always Pooh and me. Whatever I do, he wants to do. Where are you going today, says Pooh. Well, that's very odd, because I was too. Let's go together, says Pooh, says he. Let's go together, says Pooh. Our democracy must be not only the envy of the world, but the engine of our own renewal. There is nothing wrong with America that cannot be cured by what is right with America. And so today we pledge an end to the era of deadlock and drift, and a new season of American renewal has begun.
the preservation of the sacred fire of liberty, and the destiny of the republican model of government are justly considered as deeply, perhaps as finally stalked, on the experiment entrusted to the hands of the American people.
A compact disc, or CD, is a plastic disc containing a thin metallic layer that's used for storing large amounts of information. The most popular use for CDs today is for recording and playing back high-quality sound. A high-precision laser beam is used to burn microscopic pits in the thin metal layer of a master disc. The pits are laid down in patterns that can be read by a compact disc player. Thousands of CDs can be made from a single master disc. A CD player contains a low-power laser and high-precision lenses and mirrors. A servo motor positions the optical elements to a track on the disc. The laser directs a narrow beam of light onto tracks of the spinning compact disc. Along a track, regions with pits scatter the light differently from regions without pits. The sequence of regions represents the sound information. A photo detector picks up light scattered from the pits and sends a signal to a microprocessor, which converts the signal to sound. The same technology that is used for sound can be used for storing other kinds of digital information as well, including computer programs, pictures, and animations. When used for multiple purposes, the disks are often called CD-ROM, or Compact Disk Read-Only Memory. A compact disk, or CD, is a plastic disk containing a thin metallic layer. According to the continental drift theory, the huge land masses of the Earth are in constant movement. The continents and the oceans rest upon rock plates that move relative to each other at rates of a few centimeters a year. Up until about 200 million years ago, the continents were connected into one single land mass called Pangaea. Pangaea split and the pieces drifted apart creating two new continents, Laurasia in the north and Gondwanaland in the south. The land mass that was to become India separated and moved northward. Australia separated from Antarctica. The two supercontinents then pulled apart east and west, opening the Atlantic Ocean. Plates are continuing to move even today. Scientists predict that the Atlantic Ocean will continue to widen, the Mediterranean Sea will collapse, and Australia will reach the equator in about 60 million years. The effects of electricity can be seen in everything from thunderstorms to television sets. Benjamin Franklin was the first to establish that lightning was actually a gigantic electric spark. He flew a kite during a thunderstorm. When lightning struck the kite, an electrical spark jumped from the string to the ground. In a thundercloud, strong air currents cause electrical charges to separate from one another. Positive charges are driven toward the top of the cloud, and negative charges accumulate at the bottom. The negative charges, or ions at the base of the cloud, attract positive ions to regions on the ground, beneath the cloud. When the amount of charge becomes large enough, a spark begins to form. In a fraction of a second, a tremendous amount of electricity flows through the air, which heats it to incandescence, forming a lightning bolt. In a flashlight, electrical charges are separated by chemical reactions within a battery. Negative charges, or electrons, flow through the wires. Electric current flowing through a filament within the light bulb 
heats the wire and makes it glow. All common electrical appliances utilize the flow of electrons. The heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood to all parts of the body. It can be divided into two cavities. Two pumps work simultaneously. The right cavity takes in oxygen-poor blood from the body and pumps it to the lungs. The left cavity takes oxygen-rich blood from the lungs and returns it to the body. Each side of the heart has an auricle, which draws blood in from the veins, and a ventricle, which pushes the blood out through the arteries. There are two stages in each heartbeat cycle, the systole and the diastole. In diastole, the heart muscle relaxes and blood is drawn into the two auricles. Rising pressure in each auricle opens the tricuspid and mitral valves and blood flows into the ventricles. Each auricle contracts, filling ventricles to capacity. During the systole stage, the filled ventricles contract. The mitral and tricuspid valves close, the aortic and pulmonary valves are forced open, and blood pushes out into the arteries. Then the heart relaxes, the aortic and pulmonary valves close, and diastole starts again. Albert Einstein proposed an entirely new way of understanding gravitation based upon similarities between gravity and acceleration. Suppose an astronaut stands inside a space capsule at rest on the Earth. She drops a ball. It accelerates at 9.8 meters per second per second. Now, suppose the capsule is out in deep space far from any stars or planets. The astronaut and ball are both weightless. Suppose that the rocket engine is fired at just the right amount to cause the capsule to accelerate at 9.8 meters per second per second. The floor of the capsule pushes against the astronaut's feet. To her, it feels the same as if she were standing on the Earth. The ball appears to fall with exactly the same acceleration as it did on the surface of the Earth. Now, the astronaut does another experiment with light. If the ship is not accelerating, the light beam follows a straight path. If the ship is accelerating, the path is slightly bent. Einstein reasoned that if light appears to bend in an accelerating frame of reference, then it should bend in a gravitational field. Einstein's prediction was tested during a solar eclipse. One day, the sun and moon moved between two stars. When the sun was directly between the stars and its light was blocked by the moon, the stars appeared to be farther apart. Rays of light from the stars were bent due to the gravitational field of the sun. Einstein's prediction was confirmed. Uh, hello? Is Angela there? Pronto. Chi parla? What happens when you make a phone call? Start by lifting the handset from the cradle. The switch rises and the telephone is connected to the routing network. A number is dialed and transmitted. The phone number sets the routing path and signals an incoming call. A voice is sent over the line as an electric current. 
The receiver is a loudspeaker that converts the electronic signal to sound by passing the current through a pair of electromagnets. The magnets vibrate a metal diaphragm that reproduces the original voice. Is Angela there? You reply through the mouthpiece, which is a microphone. Pronto. The mouthpiece performs the opposite function of the receiver. Your voice creates sound waves that cause a diaphragm to vibrate. The diaphragm presses against a chamber filled with carbon granules. The amount of current is determined by the pressure on the granules, which varies as the diaphragm vibrates. High pressure causes the granules to pack more tightly together, resulting in more current. Under less pressure, the particles move apart and less current flows. Pronto. Chi parla? The variation of current sends your voice down the phone line so that you may reply. Oh, sorry, wrong number. A rocket is propelled by rapidly expanding gases that are produced when fuel is burned in a combustion chamber. In a liquid fuel rocket, fuel and oxidizer are stored as liquids in separate tanks. Pipes carry the liquids to pumps that force the propellants into the combustion chamber. Valves control the rate of flow of the propellants. The oxidizer mixes with the fuel, providing the oxygen necessary for it to burn and large quantities of expanding gases are produced. Hot gas pushes against the walls of the combustion chamber. The force exerted by the gas against one side of the chamber is balanced by the force exerted on the opposite side. So there is no sideways force. However, gas pressure against the top of the chamber results in an unbalanced force because there is no wall at the nozzle to push against. The net force of the gas is therefore upward on the chamber, and the rocket is propelled. Bow, cough, thorough, thought, rough, through. Number 732, taxi invitation and home. Yeah, number 732. Eastern trainer 194. Number 732 is clear for takeoff. Number 32. I believe that Gandhi's views were the most enlightened of all the political men in our time. We should strive to do things in his spirit, not to use violence in fighting for our cause, but by non-participation in anything you believe is evil. Just a few minutes ago, the House of Representatives voted to approve the North American Free Trade Agreement. NAFTA will expand our exports, create new jobs, and help us reassert America's leadership in the global economy. This agreement is in the deep self-interest of the United States. It will help make working Americans the world's most productive workers, winners in the world economy.
my maxim was, la carrière est ouverte au talent, without distinction of birth or fortune. I greet you all in the name of peace, democracy, and freedom for all. The great white father now calls you his brothers, not his children, because you have shown in your education and in your settled ways of life staunch, manly, worthy qualities of sound character. I shall not seek, I shall not seek, and I will not accept the nomination of my party for another term as your president. What we need in the United States is not division. What we need in the United States is not hatred. What we need in the United States is not violence and lawlessness, but is love and wisdom and compassion toward one another and a feeling of justice toward those who still suffer within our country, whether they be white or whether they be black. We are not enemies, but friends. We must not be enemies. Though passion may have strained, it must not break our bonds of affection, the mystic cords of memory, stretching from every battlefield and patriot grave to every living heart and hearthstone all over this broad land, will yet swell the chorus of the Union when again touched, as surely as they will be by the better angels of our nature.
in an 11th hour agreement negotiated by former United States President Jimmy Carter. In an 11th hour agreement negotiated by former United States President Jimmy Carter. In an 11th hour agreement negotiated by former United States President Jimmy Carter, General Raul Sabres, Haiti's military leader, agreed to allow the return of exiled President Jean Bertrand Aristide. 20,000 U.S. troops secured the country, and on October 15, 1994, Aristide returned to Haiti. Violence? Ha! Violence? No. Vengeance? No. Reconciliation? Yes. So, you want to play some basketball. Fast-paced and action-packed. Basketball is one of the most popular sports in the world. To play and to watch. The object? To get the ball in the basket. Some of the skills you'll need include dribbling, Blocking. Passing. And, oh yes, shooting. Being tall is not a requirement, but it helps. All you need is a hoop, and a ball. In 1949, Germany was divided by the victors of World War II into occupied zones. The western regions united to form a federal republic, and the Soviet-controlled zone became communist East Germany. The Cold War had begun. Berlin, the former capital of Germany, was divided into East Berlin and West Berlin, but was located deep in the Soviet-controlled zone. In 1961, the East German government erected a wall separating the two halves of the city. The Western world helped prevent the complete isolation of West Berlin through an effort led by the United States. President John F. Kennedy declared his commitment. As a free man, I take pride in the word, Ich bin ein Berliner. At the brink of nuclear war, the United States and Soviet Union reached a stalemate. But the Berlin Wall remained a symbol of the Cold War battle line known as the Iron Curtain. It was not until the 1980s that Cold War tensions eased through the glasnost policies of Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev. Finally, in November 1989, emigration barriers dropped, allowing free passage between the two halves of the city. Soon the wall crumbled at the hands of the people at once divided. In August 1963, as Southerners in Congress delayed action on the new bill, civil rights groups organized a massive march on Washington. More than 250,000 people filled the mall, from the Lincoln Memorial to the Washington Monument. Dance is a rhythmic pattern of movement and one of the earliest forms of human expression. It is performed and enjoyed throughout the world and can take many forms, including ballet, modern, folk, and ceremonial dances. It involves movement and the use of space, energy to control the movement, rhythm and the use of time, and design, the pattern of the movement. Some dances are performed for an audience, while others are more for people who want to participate. Throughout history, people have used dance for many purposes, such as entertainment, recreation, courtship, and celebration.
Earthquakes like the one that struck Kobe, Japan on January 17, 1995 are massively destructive. These earthquakes are caused by huge pieces of the Earth's crust, called tectonic plates, either sliding against each other or pushing into one another. While the science of predicting earthquakes has not yet been perfected, new structures are designed to minimize damage and casualties. When an earthquake strikes, stand in a doorway away from chimneys and windows, or get under a sturdy piece of furniture. I'm going to try to get on the bottom bolt now. We had a good aliveness test. Oh, great. All right. Outstanding. Uh, it's hard for me because the arms are really stretched out. Okay. I'm going to move back to port. I can see you. Back and give you a port. The fourth major hurricane of the season slams at Jacksonville Beach and points north and south along the Florida Georgia coastline. Winds of 100 miles an hour and upwards. People have long known the destructive nature of hurricanes. These storms, bringing heavy winds and rain, may last several hours and have a diameter of over 480 kilometers or 300 miles. Hurricanes form over warm tropical oceans in areas of low air pressure. They consist of high velocity winds blowing in a circular motion around a low pressure center known as the eye of the storm. The only defense against hurricanes is through early warning and preparation. Meteorologists can now track these storms and measure their force through the use of radar and satellites. It looks like now the center will pass inland sometime near dawn. Well, as it goes across the uh, Florida Peninsula, of course, we're going to have uh, significant damage here in uh, Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. The National Hurricane Center's prediction was correct. In August 1992, Hurricane Andrew caused billions of dollars in damage and killed a number of people when it hit the southeastern United States.
<laughs> I've seen everything in the last few years. This is the worst. It has been a catastrophe in slow motion. Floods swamping some 7,000 homes and forcing more than 31,000 people to evacuate. For many, the disaster would be followed by economic ruin. Tree frogs build a nest of foam by beating their legs. The marsupial frog carries its eggs in a pouch on its back. The gastric breeding frog swallows its eggs and regurgitates hatched young. On September 21, 1993, Russian President Boris Yeltsin dissolved Parliament. Two weeks later, troops loyal to Yeltsin stormed the Parliament building, which lawmakers had occupied in protest. After an eight-hour battle, the anti-Yeltsin forces surrendered. Soccer is the most popular sport in the world. The game is played primarily with the feet. A player can also use the thigh, the chest, or the head. Goalkeepers are the only players allowed to use their hands. Each team tries to control the ball while moving it down the field. It's easy to play around, but practice helps perfect footwork. The goal is to score a goal. For all South Africans, an unforgettable occasion. Mandela has walked along the road and now stands at the top of the hill. As seen in this time-lapse video, some snakes can eat things many times their diameter by unhinging their jaws. Throughout the history of the United States, women have fought for equality. Feminists Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Lucretia Mott organized the first Women's Rights Convention in 1848, where they made the first public demand for voting rights for women. After years of organized rallies and civil disobedience, women in the United States finally won the right to vote in 1919 with the passage of the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution.
English. My name is Paul. Thank you. Yes. No. A penny saved is a penny earned. Goodbye. Hello. English. My name is Charles. Thank you. Yes. No. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Goodbye. Hello. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yksi, kaksi, kolme, neljä, viisi, kuusi, seitsemän, kahdeksan, yhdeksän, kymmenen. Terve, mitä kuuluu? Suomi. Minun nimeni on Pekka. Kiitos. Kyllä. Ei. Parempi pyy pivossa kuin kaksi oksalla. Näkemiin. Français? Je m'appelle Elvige. Merci. Oui? Non? L'habit ne fait pas le moine. Au revoir. Bonjour. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guten Tag. Wie geht's? Deutsch. Ich heiße Klaus. Dankeschön. Ja. Nein. Wer den Pfennig nicht ehrt, ist des Talers nicht wert. Auf Wiedersehen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Konnichiwa. Nihongo. Watashi no namae wa Masashi desu. Arigato. Hai. Iie, tenseki koke o mo shouzezu. Sayonara. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shich, hach, kyu, ju. Svenska. Hej. Svenska. Jag heter Erik. Tack så mycket. Ja, nej. Många bäckar små blir en stor å. Adjö. Hello. Bonjour. Guten Tag, wie geht's? Como estás? Привет. Dzień dobry. Hola. Konnichiwa. Hoe gaat het met jou? Hello. Hello. Bonjour. Guten Tag. Wie geht's? Como estás? Privet. Dzień dobry. Hola. Konnichiwa. Hoe gaat het met jou? Hello. The promise of religious and political freedom and hopes of economic opportunity attracted immigrants to America. After arriving in New York Harbor, many immigrants traveled to points across the United States. However, most settled in the rapidly growing industrial areas of the Northeast and Midwest. A gift from France to the United States in 1886, the Statue of Liberty has become a global symbol of freedom. More than 12 million immigrants passed the statue, located on Liberty Island, on their way to Ellis Island. 
immigrants from more than 120 ethnic groups entered America through Ellis Island. At the immigration station, as many as 5,000 people were examined and registered each day. Often, a father or his oldest son made the voyage to America without his family. These men came alone to find jobs and establish residences, then sent for other family members later. I was very excited about it. I had no idea of distances. I used to try to imagine how far away it was because I was told it was far, far away and it was difficult to imagine. Do you remember at all what stories you'd heard? Oh, just the stories that, that we didn't believe, actually. The streets were paved with gold. We did hear that. But I really didn't know much more. I certainly knew nothing of its size or the size of New York City. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to expect. Were you protective of your sister? Yes, of when, course, when at that time, her? sure. Uh -huh. Because on the boat, I saw that she was so sick, and I, and I had to figure out ways to keep her from dehydrating. And another thing, I heard that the ocean is vast, but what I saw was more than vast. It took almost three weeks and I never thought that ship was going to make it to the shores of uh, this country. Mm -hmm. At night, she was racking so badly, I thought that she was going to fall apart. So can you remember, first of all, coming into the New York Harbor? Yes. I what remember. was that like? It was beautiful. We were so elated. We were so happy. We stood all by the rail, and we were blessing America that we could get. Yeah. It wasn't an easy trip and it wasn't a light trip, but we got here. The first, when they landed, they said, what do you want? You want something to eat? I says, I want a good glass of milk. That's all I wanted. And the milk tasted like cream. It was delicious. The guards, as we call them there, the customs officers and the immigration officials, they slammed a tag on you with your name, address, country of origin, etc. Everybody was tagged. They didn't ask you whether you spoke English or not. Everybody was tagged. They took your papers and they tagged you. That was the first thing. You checked your bag then they, and they pushed you. You know, They just push you. They point. They had too many understaffed, overcrowded jammed. And the place was the noise and the languages and the smell. I think, frankly, the worst memory I have of Ellis Island was the physical, because the doctors were seated at a long table with a basin full of potassium chloride, and you had to stand in front of them. I mean, it wasn't private, but it wasn't personal. It was very, really, looking back, it was impersonalized. But nevertheless, it's a very unpleasant memory, and I didn't. Uh, it was years later, years later, I just thought they didn't have to do it that way. They must have been some other way. But they remember, this was the height of immigration. They were coming in by the thousands. I mean, the, the day I was there, so maybe three, four, five thousand 
Who counts? You know what I mean? Do you remember anything about the rail trip across the country? Yes, because we just sat up all the time. And I remember they used to sell lunch boxes here. Here at Ellis. Right. Uh -huh. And I remember my mother saying, we're going to buy enough stuff here to last us the whole way because we're not going to spend any more money. In Chicago, I remember getting out. I remember my mother's thinking I was looking rather peaked. So we're going around and looking, and she sees a pie that she says, Elder, you're going to have that. It's got egg yolks, and you need nourishment. And I don't like eggs. And I, I, I so, and you know what it was? An open face apricot pie. Uh -huh. I see. <laughs> That's how much we knew about pies. About my mother went for her own papers. She had that independence. She says, I'm not a citizen on your papers, on my own. And my mother had trouble reading. We went to the judge's chambers that day where he uh, was giving out who's going to pass and who isn't. And uh, he asked my mother a few questions, and she answered them. And then he said, uh, can you read? I'll never forget this. She winked at him, you know, what do you think, Your Honor? And she had a Russian accent. He said, oh, I'm sure you can. <laughs> and she never read for him, and she passed. <laughs> but she learned how to read. She loved to read.
así me grabaron, ay mi merengue mío, y así me grabaron, ay mi merengue mío, que verdad.